are now awaiting a meeting between President Obama and House Democrats just a few hours from now. Amid word, there is a growing sense of fear among Democrats facing re-election this year that has them putting distance between themselves and the president. Some even opposing his key positions on policies like health care, the Keystone Pipeline, and trade. Let's talk about it now with uh, Christina Bellantoni, editor-in-chief at Roll Call, and Michael Warren, writer at the Weekly Standard. Uh, Michael, some of this bubbled up in, in some surprising places. Harry Reid, for instance, the leader of the Democrats in the Senate, uh, is opposing the president over the president's uh, trade policy that, that erupted last week. Well, Harry Reid loves stories like these showing Democrats in Congress with distance from uh, President Obama because the fact is that in a lot of these important states for 2014, Arkansas, Louisiana, North Carolina, West Virginia, Alaska, Obama and his agenda just aren't that popular. So having uh, that distance there, and, and of course this all falls into the, uh, the Democrats' plan for 2014, which is not to talk about Washington or Obama or Obamacare and talk about local issues or smaller issues like trade, like uh, with Louisiana, uh, the flood insurance that, that uh, Democrat Mary Landrieu is pushing. So uh, this is, uh, this is uh, uh, exactly what uh, uh, Democrats have been hoping for. Uh, and, so, and so that's why you're seeing uh, all these stories sort of percolate to the top. Michael, we'll get control of that camera, we promise. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, Christina, what about, you know, the, the Democrats, I think, have been hoping that uh, a lot of the issues with, with the rollout of Obamacare would be sort of fixed by the time the election comes around. That report we just heard from Jim Angle suggests that there are going to be millions of people perhaps kicked out of, the, out of their, uh, their insurance just in the months ahead of, of the upcoming elections. That's an issue that's not going to go away for Democrats and, and, and really for the president. Sure, and this report today has Democrats troubled, but we haven't been talking about the health care law as much over the last few weeks, and you're going to see a little bit of a shift of focus to the debt ceiling. Obviously, this new report you know, does bring the conversation back into focus on that issue, and as tax time approaches and they sort of figure out what they're going to do with penalties for the individual mandate, and as you see these Senate Democrats pushing to maybe make some changes to the law, that could end up being a bigger issue. But just to add to Michael's point, he's right about what the Democrats are focused Focusing on, and we're talking about, you know, Arkansas Senator Mark Pryor, for example, or Mark Begich in Alaska, or Kay Hagan in North Carolina. But they're also really highlighting their differences with Republicans, whether that's the Republican opponent, or you know, in Kay Hagan's case, they still have a primary ahead there. She doesn't know who she's going to be running against yet. But highlighting those differences on issues that are winning for Democrats, like the minimum wage proposal that the president put forth. He knows that's unlikely to pass Congress, but it's something that polls well for Democrats and helps them highlight a con. Contrast. And also on women's issues. You're going to continue to see this be a focus in some of these races, and then that can get the attention away from health care. Michael, so much of the attention has been focused on the Senate and Democrats' prospects of holding it. And yet there are a number of high-profile Democratic members of the House who have announced they're not going to run again. People like uh, Robert Waxman, you know, he's, he's one of Nancy Pelosi's go-to guys, a top lieutenant to her out there in California. Rob Andrews just announced in New Jersey. Uh, does it suggest that, that they see trouble ahead in the House as well? It does suggest that the Democrats have sort of given up on the House and are maybe putting all of their uh, their chips in, into uh, holding on to the Senate, which they have a good shot of, especially if they can focus uh, on, on some of those other issues that uh, voters seem to agree with them on, on minimum wage. But uh, again, let's think about how big Obamacare is going to be. You're looking at these conservative groups like Americans for Prosperity, they're spending millions of dollars not only on uh, House races, but also in Senate races, going after Kay Hagan uh, for her support on Obamacare, for instance, in North Carolina. So that issue is really not going to go away for Democrats. They're going to have to hold on to these local issues uh, or to some of these uh, wedge issues that they can uh, separate themselves from Obama and from the Republicans on. We'll just have to see uh, if, uh, if, if uh, the voters are buying. Seems like a long time between February and November, but uh, it's going to come quickly, especially if you're a candidate. Thanks very much. Michael Warren, Christina Bellantoni, thank you. Thanks.